Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Anthony Stapleton. Maybe you guys know me as Tony Stapleton. You guys might have seen me around. I'm the director in chief of uh, West Cook YMCA. I control the summer programs and the daycare facilities. Um, I'm here today basically to go over an issue that we have with an organization that has come up customer service. Now, for you guys that don't know what customer service is, I wrote this down. Definition right here the assistance and advice provided by a company to those who buy or use its products or services. Bam, that's customer service. Now, today we're going to start off with a little icebreaker. We're about to split off into groups, so I want you guys to number off one and two. Um, all my ones go on my left, all my twos go on my right. <clears throat> now, in your newly formed groups, I want you guys to talk about about three good words that describe good customer service and bad customer service. All right, let's start with the good customer service. Supportive, interactive, positive. Love all three of these words. This is what we need to emphasize on right here. Good. Good customer service. You need to be able to interact with the kids, the customers, the parents, all that. All put in a nutshell, you need to stay positive. We want them to want to be here. This is a friendly environment. You want to be, you want to have that message get across. Now my bad customer service over here, rude, unresponsive, negative. Wash that, wash that. We don't need any of that, all right guys? We don't need any of that. <clears throat> Being rude, or like, you don't want to be around these type of people, you know? Like put yourself in the parents of the customer shoes. This is not, this is unnecessary. We don't need this. Let's focus on this. Now, I have gotten specific complaints from parents and customers, three main ones that I will shortly talk about and then we're gonna come up with some solutions to solve these problems, all right guys? Only give me about five minutes, shouldn't take too long. Let's start with these problems. First one, unfamiliar, unfamiliar with facilities and activities going on with an organization. This is, this is, uh, this is not, this is not acceptable at all. We need we need to know <clears throat> what's going on at all times within the organization. We need to be able to support the customers on where they're going. <clears throat> now, in the, now, in a store that I have to explain this problem, uh, a customer came in, needed to use the weight room to go to a workout program. She's running late. She needed to get there. Asked the uh, employee, where is the weight room? He or she did not know. Can't have that. She wrote a complaint, got to me, now we're here today. Number two, social skills with customers. This is basically means how you <clears throat> need to be appropriately approaching the customer. Now, a story I have for this, a customer came down, brought a kid, a uh, kid was not following the rules. The, the parent came, the parent came down, the customer told the parent, the parent basically Right back, and because she thought her child was an angel, custom the employee barked back at her, which we cannot have. We cannot have that. And she basically wrote a complaint. So it got sent to me. Bad customer service. The employee was being rude. Can't have that. Last one, not attentive. We're camp counselors here, guys. We need to be engaging with everybody. Not just the kids, the parents, even with each other. We're a team, we're a family. We got to stick together. Now, here are the solutions I've come up with that we are, need to <coughs> implement, all right? Out of all these solutions, we'll start with number one, how to solve the, unfamiliar, the unfamiliarity with the facilities and activities, how to solve that issue. We have tours, strict training, team building, and pamphlets. The number one solution in my eyes, tours. You need to tour this building multiple times. Um, talk to all the other employees around the building. See what's going on. Um, we're about to be touring a lot more during training. Maybe free you guys up. Maybe you guys could walk around <laughs> after work. Uh, get a little more touring going on. Up to the second problem: social skills with customers. That's just kind of hard. Like. Cause I know <clears throat> you either set like you're the good at this, you're not. You're the good at this, you're not. You know. So basically, 
my solutions were stay positive. I'm emphasizing positive for good customer service. Always be enthusiastic. Want want to be here, right? Or at least act like you want to be here. Understand and review policies and rules. We should we should know that we go through those in training. But if you need a refresh memory, we can do that. <clears throat> but the number one solution I say is ask for help from coworkers, supervisors, managers, etc. If you see one of your employees getting barked at or one of your coworkers getting barked at, go help them out. See what the issue is. Try to solve the problem. If you don't, if the parent or customer is barking at you and you don't want to be rude back or give them any problems, just relay them to a different person, coworker, supervisor, manager, whoever you think is appropriate for the situation. Now for the last problem, not attentive. Here are my solutions. Bad cell phones. Yeah, see all you guys shaking your heads, you don't you don't want that, do you? Have spectators keep an eye out. I think that's my that's the best solution in my eyes. But work as a team. We're about to imp implement these three solutions. Tours, ask for help, basically work as a team, help each other out, and we're about to have spectators keep an eye out. So basically when I say I have spectators keep an eye out, I mean upper level staff is going to come down, just look around, say what's up, see what's going on, relay the information back to me. All right. Now to make sure all this is happening and improvements are being implemented, I'm about to <clears throat> provide surveys for all the customers and parents uh, via email, hard copy mail, and basically anyone who stands out will get rewarded. Get a raise, vacation time, our sweet YMCA apparel. And it's, I'm not going to tell you what exactly is going to happen or what exactly rewards you're going to get. Just keep a little thing of suspense going on. Keep you guys on your toes. But it's going to be good. You guys will enjoy what you guys will get. So let's let's do this as a team. All right, guys, let's improve. Let's improve this customer service. Where. We're, we're a family here. We're going to help each other out and we're going to get rewards. Some nice, juicy, good rewards. Now, to, <clears throat> just to recap what I talked about, here are my three problems. Unfamiliar with facilities, social skills with customers, not attentive, and then the solutions, tours, ask for help, work as a team, and have spectators keep an eye out. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to open the floor to questions and I'll provide any answers I can give to you. Thank you.